Do you want to start creating content on YouTube but not sure where to begin? In this video, I'm going to break down all the steps that you need to do in order to officially get started on YouTube. And stay tuned to the very end of this video to learn where you can grab my new YouTube channel checklist to help you make sure you are starting your channel out on the right foot. If we're just meeting, my name is Katrina Torrijos and my passion is to help aspiring content creators by giving them the tips and tools to create content and build their brands online. So if that is something that is interesting to you, consider subscribing. When starting a YouTube channel, the first thing you need to think about is what your channel is going to be about and who is it going to be for. And those are the two things that new YouTubers struggle with the most. So I recommend just starting off with making a list of things that you are interested in and will never get tired talking about. And the reason for this is because YouTube is so much more fun when you're talking about something that you are actually passionate about and something that you actually care about. So just make that list of everything you are interested in and gets you excited. And this list can be as broad as you want. I actually don't recommend niching down when you're just starting out because you don't know what's going to stick. I went through so many niche changes in the lifespan of my channel and you're bound to change your niche at least once or twice while you're on this YouTube journey. So I wouldn't stress about picking a niche right away. Try determining who your target audience is first. Who is that person that you are talking to? Because deciding who your target audience is and who you're talking to is going to dictate the content and how you're going to deliver it. And even though you're just creating different kinds of videos for this specific demographic, something is bound to stick and when it does, that's when you niche down. So once you have your list of interests and your target audience all lined up, then it's time to determine your content pillars or your content buckets. I highly recommend brainstorming around three to five different types of content buckets. Essentially, these are parent categories that your content will fall under. So for example, I have three content buckets right now. The first one is around content creation. The second one is YouTube and the third one is social media marketing. Every single video has to fall under one of these three content buckets so that my channel and my content stays on brand. And you could totally organize your video ideas and your content buckets just by writing them out. But I actually have a tool that I got from this other creator named Katie Steckley. She created a content matrix and I'll link it down below so you can check it out. And it really helped me organize my content and helped me visualize like all of my content ideas in one place. So if that's something you're interested in, check that out in the description. So the next step is to set up your channel. So if you haven't done this already, sign up for our YouTube channel. It's super easy. You just need a Gmail account to do it. Um, but let's say you got that account set up all ready to go. Here are some basic things that you have to fill out before you launch your channel. Just to make sure your YouTube channel and profile profile just to make sure your YouTube channel and profile are all complete. So the first thing that you need to fill out is the name of your channel. This can be your brand name or it could be your first and last name, whichever one captures the essence of your content the most. And then the second thing, fill out your about page. So many people forget this. You should put like a short bio of exactly what your channel is about and what people can expect and then include a section for all of your social media and your website if you have it. And that's pretty much all you need in the about section. You can also add in your social media links and they'll pop up on your channel banner as well as a contact email for business inquiries. Those sections are super helpful if people are trying to find your other social media or contact you in a different way. And the next thing you need to include on your channel are all of your graphics, which includes the channel banner, your profile picture, and your watermark. So I create all of my channel graphics on this website called Canva. It's free, it's super awesome to use for anyone who doesn't really know Photoshop or Illustrator that well. If you haven't heard of Canva, check it out, canva.com. Make all your graphics through there and they already have the dimensions preset for the banner and then the um, social media and all that stuff. So it's a really cool tool. I highly recommend using that when you're starting out. And then the last part of your profile that you should fill out is your upload defaults. 
Oh my goodness. So what your upload default is, is basically the default setting that YouTube will put onto each video you upload so that you don't need to manually like do it yourself. And the biggest part of this feature that you should fill out is the description because typing out and formatting your descriptions for every single video can get really time consuming. So what I do is I like to include like a template of like different like sections where I can plug and play different things like according to each video. So I'll have my description section blank and then I have a section for music. I have my FTC in every single upload default and it just cuts time out of typing out the description from scratch every single time. Highly recommend you set that upload default ASAP. The last thing and the most important thing that you need to do when starting your YouTube channel is to just press record. I know, groundbreaking. Just start uploading videos. Don't even think about getting fancy. In fact, start messy. Your first videos are going to be your worst videos. And the only way to get better is to keep practicing. When you're starting out, your goal is to just get into the habit of making videos, of creating content on a schedule, as well as learning how to get better each time. You are working out a creative muscle. The only way to build and strengthen that muscle is to keep exercising it. That was the weirdest analogy ever. So even though this tip seems very self-explanatory, a lot of people get tripped up here because that's when perfectionism sets in or imposter syndrome tries to get you. Ignore all that. Ignore what the haters say. Ignore what your head says. Ignore all the negative voices in your head that are stopping you from uploading that video and just do it and keep doing it over and over and over again until you get super comfortable with making videos. So those are the first steps that I believe people need to complete when starting a YouTube channel. If you got value out of this video, hit that like button and open up the description box down below because I created a new YouTube channel checklist that you can download for free and it will tell you everything you need to complete to make sure that you are starting your YouTube channel off the right way. So this is the first video in my YouTube for beginner series. So if you loved this video, check out my next video where I talk about how to come up with content ideas for your YouTube videos. It's gonna get crazy. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, keep on creating and I'll see you in the next one.